Okay, so we are trying to determine which of these two fractions, 1 sixth or negative 1 seventh. They're both pretty close to zero. We want to know which one is closer to zero. Well, hopefully, uh, it's not news to you that 1 sixth is on the right side of zero and that negative 1 seventh is on the left side of zero. And we're zoomed in here on zero. One would be way, way out there somewhere, and negative one would be way back there somewhere. Now, my question for you is, well, how much bigger than zero is one-sixth? Hopefully, it's fairly obvious to you. Hopefully, again, I say that. Um, hopefully, it's fairly obvious that, that this distance right here That distance right there, the amount, uh, hopefully it's pretty obvious that that is a distance of, you tell me how much it is, pause the video and say it. Yes, that is one-sixth. One-sixth is one-sixth more than zero. Okay, well, how about... Let me change the color of that guy. Let's make him red, Christmassy. Well, how much, how much less than zero is negative one seventh? I, I hope that that isn't uh, too tricky of a question to answer. I hope that it's pretty clear that negative one seventh is one seventh below zero. So. One, this is how far one sixth is away from zero. This is how far one seventh, is, negative one seventh, is away from zero. It's just a matter of figuring out which of these two fractions is bigger. Well, one seventh is one out of seven pieces. Seven pieces means each piece is smaller. So this guy is the smaller of the two. So that means this guy is closer to zero because he's only one-seventh away from zero. Now, it's going to be a very similar argument for part B, but I'm going to put that in a separate video, I believe, because this is almost already three minutes long.